Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Disgaea 1 Complete Etna Mode. That's right, we are continuing where we left off last time, and we're going to do something. I have some surprises for you all. Alright, first up, let's check out our status, and yes, we have a Planaire. We do, she has a gun, and she is, well, she's not really all that powerful yet, but she will be. Eventually, theoretically, possibly, maybe. She might be, at some point, powerful. But we did unlock her, and it's interesting. We're going to unlock a uh, main character, whatever that one is, right now. Or at least we're going to attempt it. <sighs> okay, so hopefully you guys have your RNG hats tuned in to awesome, because we're going to need a lot of awesome for this RNG to go our way. So essentially, we need a main character, but we're not going to pull from 24 participants. We're going to go with a much lower number. So we're going to have to go back and forth and we're going to try to get hopefully something like 10 to 13 and we're going to be able to have a pretty high amount of influence as well. And essentially it has to be unanimous or at least that's what I have gathered. Everyone has to vote yes on this and if they do not you have to beat them into submission. So that's what you're going to be looking for in just a few short moments. I may choose to edit some of this out, but at the same time, I sort of like leaving this stuff in because this is stuff that you're going to have to do yourselves if you're going to grab the game and play for it. I mean, this isn't great, but this is this will work. We'll go with this one. We'll see how this goes. So you should just be aware that this is going to be a thing that you're going to end up having to do yourselves. So the only way to really guarantee that... They're going to vote yes, is I think you have to get them to the love status. So, first thing we need to do is we need to look at the, oh, we're going to have to get that one happy. 225 is a bit of a stretch. We don't care about the 20. We don't care too much about the 90, but the 90's there. 41 we don't care about. The 60 we don't care too much about either. The 94 we kind of care. The 91 we kind of care. The 104 we do care about. 54 is fine. 307 absolutely 100% has to go our way. 179. So there's actually quite a few that are going to be a bit of a struggle here. This one's strongly against. So let's start with the dragon. We need to look for things that he's must have. And apparently there's only one thing that he must have. So now we're going to have to bribe him with things that he's interested in. And this may take a little bit of playing around, guys and gals. We may have to back out and do this a few times. Until we get... I mean, we can have total support. Maybe I go with that. But uh, it's it's rough. So it was the first one was 225. Is there any must-haves? Oh, there's a few. Or at least one, I'm sorry. I thought I saw more than one. Oh, there we go. There's a bunch that are interested. Uh, okay, we got total support. I mean, it's a pretty high chance that they're not going to go against us as total support. But like I said, I think the only way you can guarantee it is if you have love. I'm fine with dealing with most of these. Again, it's it's really the ones on like this aisle that are a little bit scary. And then this dude. At 179, he could definitely ruin our day. If there's a bunch of must-haves, there's at least two right there. I mean, we might be able to get away with it. Oh, there's at least another one in there. In favor of... Strongly for... Total support. Alright, well, we're going to try that. Strongly for, can we get... Total support. I'm just going to be going with total supports at this point. That one we're just going to leave. That's too much to claw back from the brink. Can I get a love out of you? There it is. Alright, so we got love out of you. And we're just going to have to hope for the best with like the dragon and stuff. 54 is fine. I mean, it's also not guaranteed that the guys that are less than super high are going to go against this either. They might totally be okay with us. Oh, that's good. That's good. Alright, I think I'd rather deal with you. Get 
you into the love category if possible. There we go. One thing I wish they would have done is allow you to uh, sort your items later on, and they don't let you, or in this, they don't let you do it. So it would be nice to be able to be like, boom, sort, and then all of them go back to the top instead of having to scroll through all these different blank spots. It does not seem to be a thing. Is there anything you were slightly interested in? Like not very interested. Does not want. Alright. Okay. Well, I mean, we could still bribe some of the others to hopefully get a little bit more love. So, we'll see. Um... Care so much about you. You were the 90. Alright. Can we get you the love, friend? There it is. Very nice. In favor of? I mean, you're not even worth my time. Leaning, yes. Not very interested. Slightly interested. Strongly for. I won't do a lot of this stuff on camera, guys, moving forward with the series. A lot of this I'll do off camera, but I figured at least once you should see the, the pain and the struggle that you have to go through. I would recommend, and some people might just not like that idea, but I would recommend um, reloading if uh, things go horribly wrong. That way you don't waste your... You don't waste all your mana and all your effort and everything else. Because again, this is very, 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 very RNG heavy. So, like, it's it's hit or miss. It literally is hit or miss. Like, that's that's what you're basically working with here. It's absolutely hit or miss. So, it's up to you. You guys can reload or you can just take the hit. It's fine. All right, guys and gals, we've done the best that we can. Let's see what we're going to end up with. Okay, it looks like we got three people who went no. So we're going to persuade by force. And now we're going to be... Maybe four people? And now we're going to be brought into battle. So it's only the red ones. Okay, so let's see what we're working with here. Uh, 54, I'm fine with that. 28, not a problem. 60, totally fine. This is the 90, 91. That's it. So yeah, we, we we're going to be able to easily crush this. So we'll move out and prepare. Now if you hit anybody with an AoE that's not already upset with you, they will become upset with you. Now I honest I have no idea what that gun is. Sorry, I haven't seen that one before. I just got this new weapon for her. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Anyhow, um, yeah, so I, I don't know what effect this has on like persuading people by force. If they're always going to hate you moving forward or what the case is. So ideally, you wouldn't care. Because most of the uh, most of the voting things that you can do, stuff that you can vote on, doesn't require you to get like a hundred percent success rate. Like I had like I think it was like a thousand to like ninety three or whatever, and I failed. And that was before I realized, oh, I could probably take a fight against these guys. So I could have had an easy fight to get Planar at the beginning. And then I decided to give it a shot, and I started looking at like the enemies that it was against. So, I mean, I learned some stuff. It's cool. And we're about to get a, a new uh, main character hero that we're going to possibly use. I don't I don't know. I have no idea. I really do not know. All right, who do we still have laying around that we haven't thrown into the mix yet? Not really anyone. I'm going to try to get my cleric up a little bit higher. All right, I guess we can use shield. Uh, maybe on... Etna. That is not a male. That is absolutely not a male voice. So, uh, yeah, somebody commented, and again, I would be 100% in agreement with you until I heard the voice. And I know I didn't get to showcase the voice in the first episodes. But that is not a man's voice. I remember Butch, my original Butch, uh, from Disgaea 1 PC, or Disgaea PC as it were. Uh, yeah, he, he sounded like a man. Looked kind of like a female, sounded like a man. Uh, these don't sound like a man, they sound like a female, and I'm pretty sure that they are a female. So, unfortunate that they did a lot of the changing and whatnot that they did, but that's, that's okay. It just, it's a little confusing to have, like, a lot of certain, like, 
Like every class has a male character, and now you have like one that doesn't. I, it's, it's strange. It's a little well. I, not not even every class has a male character. I'm just gonna. We're just yeah. We're fine. It's, it's okay. All right, we're gonna use Planar. You know what? I might use the Usagi drop. Um, I have to do it from a different angle though. You guys haven't got to see it. I mean, it's essentially the same as the Prinny drop. So, except you're gonna see other things dropping out of the sky. We need to move you. I think I can do the triburst from here. Nope, she's in the triburst area. It's fine. She can still attack though. I think. Yeah, all right, let's execute. I'm assuming we don't do so much damage that we kill it before all the stuff goes down. I mean, it is 91. No, nobody's even. Nobody's 91. There's a few people who are a little bit close, but nobody's 91 yet. All right, and there they are. Usagi, drop as it were, is there, and a little pew pew shooty action. I think I'm going to step over here, and I'm going to attack it, with a little bit of help. Okay, I was expecting the counter, and I got it. Alright, attack, and... Uh, I'm actually surprised that we're not doing more damage. Hopefully this does like eight or nine hundred, but not, or maybe even a thousand. It's not like eleven thirty-six or more. Oh, good. Oh, that's that's ideal. All right, and then we're gonna hopefully between Arzla and Etna, they will join. Very little chance. We'll try it. Oh, they all joined. Oh yeah. Got him. Alright, so there we go. I just gained a couple more levels on my totally female cleric. <laughs> or healer, or priest, or whatever it's called. It's, it's fine. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and use the hurricane slow. Oh, I can't. Okay, I'm just gonna attack you. Alright, I think that's fairly okay. I'm gonna move up a little bit here. I mean, the big one is out of the way, so the rest are going to be pretty easy to deal with. You're what, in the 20s? Yeah, and you're 54, so not really much of an issue, honestly. Uh, I'm going to say that we're going to do a maneuver here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and use the Chaos Impact, which perfectly misses everything, which I am a fan of. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to Tiger Charge, and then we're going to see what we do from there. I could have technically, I suppose, thrown one of the, the low-level zombies over. That wouldn't have been too bad. Okay. Well, that's a little bit of damage there. On to you, sir. I think I had the game sounds just a little bit too loud. We'll see. I've been playing around with a few different settings, and sadly, certain games require higher, lower stuff. So, we'll see. What are our chances? Pretty decent. I don't think we do enough damage, though. Oh? Oh, no. It was, it was 800 or so. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll move there. Move you here. And if once again we can pull from the others joining, and we did. Maybe more level ups for my my uh, person. Sweet, sweet, nice style. We are a bit low on the old HPO meter though. So I think it would probably be wise. It would behoove me a little bit to pick me up and throw me over here. Uh, we can cast from like a million miles away, so we shall do so. All right. Come over nowhere. Um, Planera is like absurdly powerful, by the way. Like she's got absurd movement range, all sorts of stuff. So pretty good person to have around. All right, let's see what goes down. Or 
electrical murder of doom. I don't think we have enough to kill. Close, but not quite. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. Goodbye. Alright, that's cool. Alright, and you can still go and probably just kill this fool. And then we will see what the new character... I have no idea what it is, guys and gals. I was tempted to look. Um, decided not to. Decided I was going to get Plein Air instead. And I got Plein Air. And it was sweet, sweet, nice. And now we get to see... Whom we unlocked. I want a main character has been approved. Uh, okay. It's going to be at the bottom. Ready? It's Asagi. Who is that? It's an alternate heroine. Uh, who has no weapon mastery? Aptitude or anything. Um... I don't... I don't know. I've never seen someone without a... Cannot master weapons. Okay, it says at the bottom of the screen. Probably should have read that first. Uh, so what does that mean for us? D did she... D d does Asagi have no skills? I'm very, very confused by all of this, not gonna lie. Uh, we'll have to see how it works. We'll, we'll put Asagi on the, uh, the group. I don't want the orb, um... There we go. Uh... Can she equip any weapon? She can. I'm assuming it's a, a she. Is there any possibility of unarmed combat? Is that a thing? I feel like that doesn't make sense. Hmm. Well, either way, we now have a, a person. I guess we'll put this... Uh, can't... Hmm. Okay. What about monster weapons? I mean, it's been a while since I've had a monster weapon. That's still going to be an upgrade from whatever we do have, so let's use a little bit of cash to get at least a decent one. Can you use this? You can. Oh. So you're considered a monster. That's weird. It's real weird. All right, that's that's okay. Now, here's one of the unfortunate things that I really liked about uh, Disgaea 2 PC was you had the insert ability when you were maneuvering people around. And now that is no longer a thing. So I'm a little bit saddened by that. It's all fine. And I'm okay with putting Frosty at the bottom, so that actually works out just fine as well. Just, that's not fine. I have a very specific method, guys and gals, and I do apologize. I know this is, like I said, Lots of annoyances, lots of little pain and suffering in this one, but it's it's all for the greater good. You guys at least get to see the stuff that's going down. Alright, so there we go. We have all of our hero type characters up top. And I think we still have enough time to go do a mission. It'll be a little bit tight, but I'm okay with that. So let's go. Let's go to Vare's castle and go to the Hall of Caresses, because that doesn't sound creepy at all. All right, this is the last room. Take everything that's valuable. <laughs> oh boy, that was a thing. Master Etna, did you hear that? Yeah, dude. <laughs> what? You're just hearing things. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he is. How rude! 
You should never ignore a gentleman. Oh, yeah? What is it now? Kind of busy here? That is hardly a proper reaction after pilfering Moi's treasure. Moi's but treasure. I give you credit for your bravery. I feel like that's not the same voice actor that did the original mid-boss. Hmm. <laughs> My name is Viers. I am the lord of this castle. Finally? So you're Viers. Ah. <laughs> uh. What is it now, you freak? I cannot help it. It seems when people call moi that name, I get this overwhelming sensation. Creepy? Oh, it brings such tears to my eyes. Definitively creepy. <laughs> Looks like the rumors were right. You are a freak. My dear, I am an aristocrat blessed with beauty and power. They call moi the Dark Adonis. Uh -huh. Now, mademoiselle, you are no ordinary thief. Am moi right? Yeah, well, you're no ordinary spaz. <laughs> I admit it. I came here to eliminate you. Ah, I see. But mademoiselle, you cannot defeat moi. Yeah, that's what they all say. But too bad for you. I'm not your opponent today. Uh. <laughs> then who wishes to face moi? Please say fake Laharl. Beg for mercy! You face the son of King Krachevskoy, Prince Laharl! Yes! Um, <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Prince Laharl, dude. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> Your attempts at humor don't go over well with nobles, such as myself. You think this is a joke? Yep. What's the problem? I'm Prince Laharl, dude! You, sir, are a prinny. Oh no, he saw through the facade. You idiot, <laughs> look closer. Don't you see the antenna? <laughs> well, Laharl did have those. See? That proves he's the prince. You would have moi believe he is the prince simply because he has antennae? What more could you possibly want? <laughs> Laharl uh... is Krachevskoy's son, is he not? Yeah. Shouldn't he have something more? His father's noble and sparkling good looks, for example? Yeah, right. If he was anything like his father, I wouldn't have killed him. Uh-oh. Huh? Anyways, this is the prince. It doesn't matter what you say. Wait, what, what, what happened to... Uh... Ugh, just kill him. Go, pretty, uh, prince. Master Etna, this ain't gonna work, dude. That's great. That is fantastic. All right, so let's get through this. I, I'm not sure how strong. They don't seem to be scaling too much beyond. So it should be fine. I really should have... Actually, I don't think I needed to. All, all, of the, all the items that these guys have are all really bad items. So I was like, I really should have something to steal with. I don't need it. I absolutely don't need it. All right. So 100% defense, dude. That's totally okay. Uh, what do we? What do we? Okay. It's fine. Um, hold on. Ooh, plus two attacks. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Uh, I like these things. I, I'll figure out something to do with you soon. All right, let us drop some Usagi. And, oh, Star! Don't you come out and play, Star? I'm going to say that if we Omega Star right over here, we feeling pretty good. Underwhelming. This should be a bit more whelming. I feel much more whelmed now. It's still not enough, though. Hmm. I'm curious. Do you even have any skills, Asagi? You do not. It's weird that you're like a monster. I'm not sure that I, I care for that. Alright, let's see what happens when I do this. And yes, I'm probably going to break the little Pyramid Triangle of Doom there. The Triangular Pyramid of Doom! No, I didn't break it. I just hurt it a little bit. Alright. 
So I need to do a little bit of damage. Uh, okay, we'll go with this. I don't know how much damage you're gonna do exactly. You have wind cutter? Could I not Let's see. Eh, that's about as underwhelming as I thought it was going to be. Well, at least I'm on point with what I'm thinking. What are the ch- oh gosh, they're, they're not there. There's like zero chance. Yeah, I would say that looks like a female to me. Oh, what can we do? Ooh, I know what we can do. Where are you, Dendra? I may have to throw you. I'm gonna have to throw you. Alright, I will even step out to do the throwing. So why not? Get throwed. Whoa, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Dark Flash. And we're gonna be like, hit! And then we're gonna be like, Pew -pew! And we do a little bit of damage. Not a lot of damage, a little bit of damage. I'm still very underwhelmed by how much, a little bit of damage that we've done. Uh, how many do we have four left? Um, Trick. I mean, everybody's doing a bit, but not enough. Mm. Yeah. That's a bit better. Alright, I'm gonna step here, and then we're gonna hope that Asagi's got the, the strength to do something. I think I'm gonna use Bella as a buff bot here. Let's go ahead and give Braveheart to you. There we are, and... Good luck. Did she just shoot? I feel like she just shot. What? Hmm. All right, let's see what the follow-up is gonna be. Oh, they have magic. Of course, they're ghosts. Yeah. I say she doesn't survive that first attack. Well, at least now we can just finish the, the level. It's not that big of a deal anymore. All right, what are we looking at here? I want. Uh, I just wish it would have actually worked. Oh, good. Double down. That was not what I wanted to do at all. I did that totally backwards. I just killed one of the ones that I wanted. You guys can laugh. Go ahead. It was somewhat humorous. Not gonna lie. I did not look that over very well. Alright, we're gonna drop some old sock old sockies on them. It'll be fine. Well done, Planair. Well done. And you're dead. Sliced and diced and level up. Yep. I feel like we're lacking all of our stronger characters. Which, again, is probably okay. Um, why not cast impact? That's, that's fine. Um, Omega star. Okay, we'll do that. I'm just gonna put you away. I guess I'll go away too. Um, there we go. Wee! Oh, that was very underwhelming. Lift and throw. And yeah, I suppose we'll sit here and wind cutter? Why not? Alright, let's see what we're doing. Chaos impact first. Pretty big chunk of damage. Did 
Uh, that was a fair amount of damage. Here comes the Omega Star of Doom. That was underwhelming. Alright. I feel like you've already done what you could do. Yep. You have as well. I also have you. And you. Alright, I believe there's going to be some healing being done here soon. came forward. I'll finish this. The male and female versions are here to attack. Go! The Omega Heal. Interesting. On to their boy. He didn't even attack us. That's weird. Do, yeah, we'll do that. I suppose all I could do the wind cutter as well. We'll step up one more square. And there we are. Let's do those things first. The goal of the dream is yes, to kill that one off. And we did. We accomplished it. Alright, we are just wrecking things at this point. Alright, gonna waddle on over here. Not sure why she's in the water, but we're gonna try to do the murder on her. Oh, no, oh, I wanna do the Usagi drop on myself. That does seem like a silly maneuver. Okay, so there we go. Feels like it would be. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright. Can I dark flash? No. Can I poison arrow? Yes. Can I? I guess I can just shoot. Then I can probably also go ahead and hurricane slash and execute. That's nothing. That also did nothing. That did not do much either. And I feel like... We haven't used the dark cannon yet. Let's use that. I think that's one where I, I basically aim where I want to shoot. And I just hit the button as fast as I possibly can. I don't know if there's like any other buttons I can hit. I don't know why we have a thousand ammo when you can conceivably possibly hit the button that many times. It seems a little silly, I'm not gonna lie. I don't particularly like it. But that's okay. Huh. I actually expected you to do something different there. Alright, special. Nope. Hurricane Slash, yes. Over here, we're going to do the skills to pay the bills. Special printing rate. I know this episode's going a bit long, but eh, I think you're all fine with it. If you're not, well, I apologize, though. Mega Star, on to you. And we're going to come over here. And incidentally, guys and gals, as I've already given you some spoilers, I, I figured folks would know this, but just in case you didn't know, this Let's Play be in Etna mode and already after you play through the game once, uh, will probably include spoilers, as I've already included some of those spoilers, so yeah, just, just be aware. I, I think as we continue on, more and more stuff will be revealed or will happen. That would be considered spoiler worthy. So just just something to be aware of. Just something to be aware of. Oh, we're bringing a lot of hate to this guy. 
try to bring down buyers, but I think I still prefer for him being known as mid boss. That cracked me up the first time. Still like it to this day. Alright, okay, well he is very weak now. In comparison. You've attacked. You're the only one who did not attack. So why don't we do this? In hopes that we do enough damage to put him down. Or down, I guess, technically. Alright, that's pretty much it. Except for... Except for good old Plenair, who's going to use her tri-burst. And still, it was not enough. I got shot by my own gun. Of course. Hey, don't hit her. She's probably important. Alright, I'm going to use a wind cutter, and then I think I can finish him with plein air. Oh, that did way more damage than I thought it was going to do. Okay. Alright, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, let's put him away, and then we'll see what's next. Very little bit of money getting gained. See? What did I tell ya? He is the prince. I still wish we had a fake Prince Laharl in our uh, squad. That would make me so much happier. I see. Beautiful mademoiselle, does your conscience not ache? Nope, not at all. <laughs> yeah, dude, nothing can hurt Master Etna's dark conscience. True. <laughs> Why should I feel bad about defeating <laughs> you anyway? That is not what I meant. Do you have no regard for the wishes of your master? Have you no loyalties to anyone? Hey, you're a demon too. The trail is a part of what we do. Yeah. Besides, I pledged my loyalty to King Krichevskoy, not the prince. Do you believe King Krichevskoy would be proud of you were he standing before you now? What? King Krichevskoy is dead. Hmm? Now I'm going to decide how I'm going to live my life. I'm sure King Krichevskoy would understand. Let's go, pretties! Yeah, pretties! Looks like we've had a change of plans. What will he do now? Very, very yes. interesting. He just woke up, but his powers are still there. Huh? In fact, he just crushed the new up-and-coming demon by brute force. I see. But still, how did he survive after drinking that potion? Oh, yes. And he has gained so much power. This is not good. Don't worry about it. Leave everything to me and the crown will be yours. Are you certain? Of course. Just remember. I know. When I reign as the overlord, I will give you what you want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. We have ended episode one. Super dimensional Etna. Cool. Oh yeah. Time for Etna's Q and A corner. This isn't the next episode preview. I'm taking this time out of my busy schedule to answer all your letters. Sweet. You think she's got my letter, guys? This has got to be a scam, dude. Let's check out the first letter. It's from a seven-year-old boy from Earth. Nope. Now, let's see. Help me. I'm always being picked on at school. <laughs> Sounds pretty serious, dude. Are you sure you can handle it? Please, they're little kids. I can massacre like a billion little boys. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wow, dude. Master Etna, you're willing to help him out? Sure. And I'll do oh. it for the amazingly low price of 500 million hell. Okay. What? No kid can afford that, dude. All they have to do is ask their mom or dad. <laughs> but no one has that kind of dough, dude. Well, I'm not running a charity here. So you're not going to do anything? You're horrible, dude. Careful, Prinny. Fine. He doesn't have to pay now. After he dies and becomes a Prinny, I'll just make him work it off. There you go. Don't do it, dude. 20 hour work days are hell! Run away while you still can, dude! 
If you really want my help, send me another letter. You don't even get paid, dude! You hardly get fed, too! Don't even think about it! Okay, you keep on talking and I'll toss you out again. Stand up to bullies, dude! <laughs> Thank you for that public service announcement. Prinny. There's an odd health bar on our thing. That's weird. Don't know what to think about it. Don't know what to think about it. Saving's much slower on the PS4 than it is on Master the PC. Is back, dude. And she doesn't look happy. I think she met with that demon. Not even Master Etna could disobey him, dude. Anywho, I envy him for being able to command Master Etna, dude. Is he blackmailing her or what, dude? What can someone possibly have to blackmail her with, dude? Maybe. Master Etna's just a spy from an alternate netherworld, dude! Dude! You got it all wrong! She's definitely a spy from the future, dude! No, no, no! <laughs> She's a space detective! Yes! Here to protect the peace, dude! Uh, no. Space detective? Oh, God. What was that? Did somebody <gasps> here just mention a space detective? It's Flan! Who's that, dude? I don't know, dude! Please forgive me. My name is Flan, and I came from Celestia. It's a pleasure to meet you. Huh? <laughs> huh? Space Detective Edna! I love this. Episode 2. Space Detective Edna. All right. Master Edna! We got a problem, dude! Oh, uh, what can it be this time? Are the printies threatening to strike again? Tell them they better get back to work if they want to live to see tomorrow. It's not Jeez. that, dude! An angel named Flan has infiltrated our castle! What? An angel? Oh, why do these things always happen to me? <laughs> so, where's this angel? Well, um, excuse me. Can well... you direct me to the overlord's room? <clears throat> Master Retina! It's her, dude! She's Flan! Hmm, you don't look too bright. <laughs> so, what do you want? Edna? That means you must be the daring space detective! <laughs> huh? My name is Flan! Uh... I'm thrilled to be meeting a genuine hero of justice! What? You have got to be kidding me! I know, I know! Nobody can know your secret identity! Yes. I won't tell anyone! I promise! Uh, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what about your transformation? And you have a victory pose, right? What's your super move? Jeez. Hey, hey! Get away from me! Master Edna! You're an undercover space detective, dude? <laughs> of course not! Please, Miss Etna, may I please be your assistant? Like I said, I'm not a space detective, and you're not going to assist me in anything. Now that that's out of the way, you may as well go back to Celestia. No! I've always dreamed about becoming a space detective. Look at her! Detective. She's so I'm determined. I'm not going anywhere until I become your assistant. Ugh, now you're just giving me a headache. I don't have time to play around with you. Pretty squad, let's go! Wait! Are you going out on patrol? Please take me with you. Hey! So what? I thought you said you weren't gonna move. Uh-oh. So I guess the old saying is true. <gasps> All angels are liars. Oh no. But I didn't lie. Then don't move from this spot. If you stay here, I might actually let you be my assistant. Really? Okay! I won't move, even if this castle crumbles around me. Jeez. That sounds great. Good luck. Are you sure you want to leave her there, dude? Uh, she'll eventually just give up and go home. I hope you're right, dude. That was weird. Awesome, but weird. All right. I heard being young means looking forward to... Or looking forward. What do you think, space detective? Don't know. Don't care. All right, we'll talk to everybody and we'll move around. We'll do the stuff that we got to do. I like the little hole in the floor here with the seam. It's, it's great. Anyway, folks, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>